always lock that carabiner back and hold it right here and see so you, you push it up, you put it over the nose, and then you take the top of that T and it's just around the head. Why don't you try and put on that gentle leader yourself without me? For a class, I had to write a speech about a personal experience that happened in my life, and this came up. In May of 2018, I got a dog. Before this, I was absolutely terrified of dogs. So terrified that I couldn't go to my friend's house, he had to come to mine. So scared that I screamed and cried whenever I saw a dog in the street. I couldn't even look at them, let alone be near or be with them. So how can a person that was so scared of the cutest thing go to being in love with it? We were walking back home, and we got to the edge of the park, to a main road, and cars are flying around at like 30 to 40 miles an hour, and there's a seven pound dog on a leash. Jasper took one look over his shoulder and basically ran out into the middle of the road, and I literally had to put my arm out and grab him and pull him back. At first it bothered me and I thought, oh my God, like this is my fault, I haven't done something right, but then I realized like this was just something that was innate in him. It really affected his social life a little bit early on as well because he didn't want to go to a house where there were dogs. Was that Lefty? What? Was that Lefty? No. <laughs> we started taking him to a cognitive behavioral therapist and we would talk about dogs, we'd look at pictures of dogs, she'd give us homework, and we did that for like a year and the progress was very slow. There was no way to get repeated exposure to the same dog over and over in a controlled environment until we found Frolic. Most fear is driven by lack of information. As soon as Jasper was able to better understand dog's body language and better understand what they were trying to communicate, slowly the fear started to go away. You know, what Frolic really did for us was help us bridge the gap between irrational fear and getting a dog. Frolic let us take Cheeky home with us for the weekends, and I had never had a dog, so the dog came with a bowl and food and a crate and leashes and a laminated page of instructions on exactly what to do. And that was kind of the turning point when I thought to myself, you know what, he's good enough that we can go and get a dog. Most great things in life, the barrier to first overcome was fear. You're always making an effort to push your comfort zone, try something new. You'll continue to be able to have other opportunities and try new things. I'm still proud of myself for overcoming my lifelong fear of dogs. Now whenever I see a dog in the street, I go to greet it, something that I never would have done. This moment was significant in my life because I overcame a big fear that I've had for a long time, and having a dog has changed my life. So face your fears, strive for your goals, and most importantly, never give up.